And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you baseball on a rainy night. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Coming up on the first pitch and pitching in this game Grant Holmes and for some reason he's not quite as effective here in front of his home crowd Chris. Yeah Boog and the fans are well aware of that for him he's got to just not press and go out there and say hey I'm just treating this like any start home on the road it doesn't matter my job is to focus on that catcher's mitt attack hitters and just try to move through a ball game so if he can find that kind of focus doesn't matter where he's pitching because he has good enough stuff to go out there and win a ball game. And he takes it himself for the out. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs. Blake Perkins. This guy had an on base percentage of over 400 last month. That's just telling you he's taking his walks. He's getting his knocks. He's finding some holes. Everything just going really well for him right now. But don't overlook the fact that that happens because he's having consistently good at bats. And yeah, the batter now Blake Perkins. Got him looking for the strikeout. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Yeah. Swings and misses, and it's a one, two, three inning. Nobody left for Milwaukee, and now the Braves with their first chance to hit. We're scoreless. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Back at Truist Park, getting the nod in this one, Aaron Savali. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip, but he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Jorge Soler up at the plate. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Popped up. Terrain in position. Brings it in. And there's one down. Here's Brian Snickers lineup for the Braves. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think That's with the, the opponent and sometimes in front the of the opponent. The and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. That one pushed foul. One out, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Sizes this one up. Makes the play and that's out number three. We played an inning. No score. Set for the start of the inning. Willie Adamas stands in. Willie Adama. A 1 1. That one fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Up with it, fires to first. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Gary Sanchez. One down, base is empty. 
No score here in the second. The pitch. Got him looking for the K. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boo. The electric stuff from that the jump. Good. And there's just no the messing around right now. It's still very well. early. Really? But we could see a pretty impressive oh, outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Oh. That one inside. And yeah, that's one. ball two. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Two outs, base is empty. And okay. another ball. The pitch. Hard ground ball, base now. Everything came together for him. That Just kept it simple. Played the right at the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Next for Milwaukee, Sal Fraley. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. No score. And we're back. Lead Here's the up. veteran first baseman, Matt Olson. The first baseman. Matt. One of the things that helped Olson in 2023, a stance adjustment, and that as well kept him more balanced for less swing and miss. Next offering is fouled back. The wide, the kick, and the one two. The other way. Dive in, he gets down. Could be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Perkins puts it away. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. That is good. The catcher. Trevor. And now Darno. it's Travis Darno with the play. This is the classic manufacturing a run situation. A runner at third, less than two outs, and a golden opportunity to bring him home. And foul to the left side. The Braves looking to strike first. Bottom half of inning number two. And there's ball. a ball. Our umpire behind the two plate, ball, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about it. That's a good thing. Ball. And that's a little bit high. And the count's full. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, but they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with them. Here's Eddie Rosario. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count one and two. Olsen at third. Darno at first. One gone. Oh. 
Pitch ball. misses. It's two and two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And here's a slow roller. On a second, they get one. Oh, the first seat. you they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI that was a possible inning ending double play great hustle and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it here's Jared Kelnick up the middle and that's a base hit Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. The tag and he's in there. Back to back base hits. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now it's going to be Jorge Soler. And the pitch. And that one pulled foul. Two on, two outs. And he grounds one back up the middle. A dive. He's got it from his backside. It. And it beats him. What a play. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Started. Here is the rookie third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. The line to kick the pitch. And another ball. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Two and two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Kelman settles underneath it. And it's caught for the out. That is not the second base. Right. This is Bryce Terang. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one out in front that one time. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Kelman sizing this one up. He's got it. And that's the third out. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Austin Riley. The third baseman. Riley used to be a pitcher back in the day, Boog. In fact, Fans used to give him a hard time in his rookie ball days because he started the season with a long slump. He'd get messages questioning if he should go back to pitching, but turns out he made the right choice. That ball. one misses, and a count is three and one. You know, these Braves do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. I'm seeing very patient bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to 
they'll push a couple of runs across to score as well. Now, the really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. So, man aboard. And now, Marcelo Zuna. A little out front there as he swings through it. It's still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. And he deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right no, there. Man. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Check swing. He went too far and it's a strike. One ball, two strike. Man at first, one away. Got him swinging. Well, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the lead off single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Here's Orlando Arcia. That misses no, the zone. Three and one. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And that's a fair ball. Around second is Riley. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is yeah, run yeah. now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Two outs. Just no, misses that with that ball. one. Full count. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a little. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Two left for Atlanta, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Here in Atlanta, out of the fourth. Now with the play, Blake Perkins. Blake Perkins. And that's downstairs and outside. Next pitch is outside. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. In the air to left center, turns to the right on the move. Hauls it in for the out. Now that designated William. And now it's William Contreras. He is a talented player, his big brother Wilson has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. Swings through that one for strike two. One and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. That, that one missed. just misses. It's a good take. Hit in the air, center field. Kelman sizes this one up. He makes the grab. Two away. 
the bat. The, the shortstop. Two outs, bases empty. Adamas. Willie Adamas digs in now. That missed two inside, and, and it's two and one. Wouldn't three chase one. that time. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The Braves leading by two. Top half of inning number four. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. It's tough after falling behind a hitter two balls and no strikes. But now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Here comes a pinch. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Brewers strand one. They trail things here to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One and two is the count. Foul ball still a one and two count. And ball. another ball. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And this one's fair down the line and left. And it's going to be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. With a pitch away, that's exactly what you want to do with it. Drive it the other way. And right there, just barely able to keep it fair down the line for the double. So, man aboard. And now the center fielder, Jared Kellner. Left hand batter waits. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it himself for the out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, no but you still want to move the runner up and Second give your team a chance to score. Win. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Comebacker to the mound. Gathers and throws to first. He's out. So the batting order no turns two. over. And now Jorge oh, Soler. Man. Rosario oh, on third with two out. Oh, Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Braves strand one, but they're on top two nothing. And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth. Up now for Milwaukee, Reese Hoskins. And the right hander deals. Yeah. A big swing and a miss. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Ronaldo Lopez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Minter warming up as well. Wouldn't chase that time. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. That one is absolutely belted. That's bad. And that one is out of here. He'll circle the bases. 
home run number 20 on the year. It's 2-1. easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure next for the Brewers Sal Fraley righty delivers outside that's well, the these ball. Brewers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game they've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game and it's led to some frustrating moments they've been fooled quite a bit today The Brewers down by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. Oh, they missed, struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the home run. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Now the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Oh, yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. Pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and fires. Fouls it off, still one and two. One down, base is empty. That's the ball. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Ryan Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Grant Holmes will depart, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new after this break. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Number Spencer Schwellenbach. Spencer. At this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bryce Terang up now for the Brewers. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. And a base hit right there. And that keeps the inning alive. He was all over that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next to hit, Jackson Chorio. Oh. And that's off the two inside balls, edge. Strike. Now two balls and a strike. Two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Blake Perkins up next. Moved to first. And yeah, he's there. back in safely. Hey. The pitch. Hey. Swing and a miss. And that is that. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Truist Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. The third baseman, Austin Riley. 
And a pitch. Out to short, Adamas. Throws across the diamond, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the now fifth. Now the designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. So now the DH spot, Marcel Ozuna. Bases empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. The wind of the pitch. And two, another two. ball. Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. Now that ball smoke. They needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. They need oh, a little more backspin. Two outs, base is empty. And now Matt Olson. And a 3-1 on the way. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here. They lead it 2-1. here in Atlanta all set for the top of the sixth digging in it's the speedy outfielder Blake Perkins that catches the ball you know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind if he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about stays alive the pitch Ah, that hit him. Now the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Pretty much the last guy you want to hit. Now you've got to try to control the running game because you know he's usually thinking about swiping a bag or two when he's on the bases. And the slider just misses. Put a lay off that pitch down. That one That's off the, the mark. Now three and one. Three really and one. Adamas in the on deck circle. The three one. And ball That's four ball to a board. Away. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their run. First and second, no outs. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Willie Adamas. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Swings and misses. One and two. One and two. Big at bat right here with an opportunity to do damage. But on the flip side, ground ball, double play, strikeout, that could get the inning That's back under control the on the mound. Roll to short, could be two. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. And now it's the catcher, Gary Sanchez. And a 1-1. Late swing, fouled off. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. In the air, right side. Brings it in. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. 
He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Here's a rocket out to left. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. So they strand a pair. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Braves two and the Brewers one. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Tobias Meyer. Pretty tight game. So they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. That's your job. Well, one run game. Now in for the Braves. Orlando Arcia. Popped up, middle of the diamond. Terang makes the catch. And there's one down. Now got it. Catcher, Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Next That's offering ball. is down low. Activity in the bullpen. Joe Ross up and loosening in the pen. Milner also getting ready. One down, base is empty. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mound. Adamas has a beat on it. Hauls it in and there's two away. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Eddie. Rosario. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. And the pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. That's down and in. Count. Side can be a bat breaker. You have to catch it out front to get the barrel to it. Does a really good job recognizing it early, getting the bat head to it, and hitting it out of the ballpark. So two away with nobody on. Jared Kellner getting ready to hit. And a good oh. eye there. So what? Righty to the plate. Comes yeah. up empty. That's strike two. Two and two to count. Now a pop up on the infield. Adamas settles under this one and makes the grab. That is the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 3 1 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Kicks and deals. On the ground to the left. Foul. And it goes just foul. Foul. 
And another ball, ball. That's up. action in the pen down there. Jesse Chavez, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Jackson getting loose as well. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. A big first out here in the seventh. We get a punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Joseph Ortiz up now for the Brewer. Headed down the line. Drifts towards it. Reaches over the wall. And he's got it. Bryce Terrain now at the plate. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and it's two and one. And the righty deals. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. And that extends the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Jackson Chorio base runner with a one-way lead right there all he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move had no intent of stealing on that pitch tying run at the plate high fly ball out to center field on the move brings it in with a nice running grab and that is that Milwaukee leaves one and it remains a 3-1 ball game Of the seventh, here's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The pitch. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The pitch. Good job to fight that one off. One and two now. And they'll do it again. Fights that one away. Still one and two. This one in the air. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball the right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. More Sometimes player. those eyes can get really big. Oh, I think man. his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And next for Atlanta, Jorge Soler. Ball to strike. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So up next, now, man, Austin man. Riley. The third baseman. Austin Riley. That's to third. Loves it on the dive. Throw to first. And that's a great play for the out. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. So they bring on the veteran, Jesse Chavez. Well, you see the ERA, very solid. And that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Blake Perkins, up now for the Brewers. The center field, number 16, Blake Perkins. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. Wouldn't chase oh. that time. Three one.
And he walked Take him. Your mate. Oh, well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Next is the designated hitter, William Contreras. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top of the eighth. And it's strike two. One, two. The tying run at the plate. Gets a piece and stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Here comes a pitch. Inside, nope. just missed. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. On the ground to third, oh. and he picks it up in foul territory. Move to first. Perkins oh, hey. back easily. Swings hey. and misses. Hey. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Tying run at the plate. The shortstop oh. takes the ball. Two balls, one strike. free passes he's gonna to have to challenge this hitter hitters got to be ready to swing it Gary Sanchez waiting for a turn at the plate got him looking two gone now Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there the way that slider made it look that was just nasty Gary And Gary Sanchez at the plate. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hit. Run around the move. No, pitch oh. misses. And hey. safe. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Man on second, two down. There's a swing and a drive. Kelman going back. Run comes in from second. It's 3-2. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Luke Jackson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Man at second here with two away. Reese Hoskins up now for the Brewers.
Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the Number bottom of the eighth, one. Joe Ross. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Three, four, five do up for the home team. And now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Oh, Zuna. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And that's two in the dirt. Two. Chases in the dirt, slider there. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at it with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Here is Matt Olson, right-handed reliever. On the ground, and that chance handled. And Olson is set down. Up next for Atlanta. The shortstop, Orlando. Here's the shortstop at the play, Orlando Arcia. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Foul ball, still a one and two count. Two down, nobody on. Gets under it and pops it up. Hoskins moves under it. And that will end the inning. Down in order go the Braves. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Rysel Iglesias. I think the closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Right through there for a strike. And that's in the dirt. And the count is two and two. One down, base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Laser could be extra bases. And it's off the wall. And now the tying run is into scoring position. A perfect example oh, right oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. It's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. 
So the tying run at second. Ah. Way out front for strike two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. And that one got a piece of it. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. That's a scary one when it's riding up above the letters. It looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. Two on, one out. And a count one and two. And ball, another ball. One out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. And now it's three and two. The plate umpire is trying to tighten things up a little bit. Payoff pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. On the ground to third. Knocks it down. He doesn't have a throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Here comes A.J. Minter to the mound. And he's been fantastic this year. Really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. So base is loaded with one away. Next for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. Late with the swing there. Two balls, two strikes. time by the time that outfielder catches it but a really good job of getting that run in from third two on two outs that's in there it's a ball in two strikes movement in the Atlanta bullpen Ronaldo Lopez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker bummer the lefty warming up as well out towards right center field dives and he can't hang on one runs in around third they add on late as the run scores all the way from first it's 5-3 well there you go the RBI machine another clutch run scoring it back yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So, runner at second, two down. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. Two outs. Good That's eye in that spot. Two and one. And it's second. Swings ah. through that one for strike two. Two and two to count. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. They limit the damage here. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show.
back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Devin Williams. The